Welcome back to the Haven Homestead Podcast, where we learn and grow together on our way to living more sustainable lives. My name is Chris, and welcome to episode 49. Today we're going to be talking about cheap or free season extenders to get a better growing season, a longer growing season for your garden. But before we get into that, I want to remind you about our website at havenhomestead.com. That's havenhomestead.com. I promised you guys last time a video on the PVC gutter project that I had, that hack that I did, and I delivered on that, and I posted the video on YouTube and on our website. So where there's the five homestead hacks podcast episode on the website, go to www.havenhomestead.com, then look under the podcast tab, and under that you will see episode 48, and in that episode there should be the video player there, so you can go ahead and watch that and see what the PVC gutter is all about, what it really looks like. Also, please consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com, that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash haven homestead, and there you can Help us help other people by supporting us so that we can continue to keep this podcast going. And speaking of having the podcast, keeping the podcast going, Lindsay will probably be taking over for me for a little while, a couple weeks at least, because I have got a new job, and so I'm going to start training on that pretty soon. And I'm not sure what kind of time I'm going to have to get this podcast going. It might be a joint thing or she might be, you know, doing it solo for a couple of times and I come home and and uh, edit the podcast. So we're going to see how this goes while I'm in my training and go from there. Also, please remember to head on out to Happy Leaf LED and they are the home of the Anytime Anywhere Garden. That's a kit that comes for $65, and you get in it a 4-inch LED light, grow light, that has it, and it has its own included USB power supply, uh, LED suspension tools, the light suspension tools, a timer, because you only want to have your plants on for a certain amount of time every day, and then give them some rest at night, four black plastic net pots. They're the pots that go inside of a jar so that your medium can sit in there and not go to the bottom of the jar. And then the plants grow in there and the roots grow from the, out the bottom of the pot into the water. Hydroponic clay pellet growing medium, which is what you'll grow your seeds in. Hydroponic nutrients and then seeds as well. All you have to do on this kit is add your own mason jars and water and everything else is taken care of you, taken care of for you. And you can get four salad greens going indoors in your home for very inexpensive and that you can use this kit over and over and over again and always keep fresh greens available. With their advanced LED grow light and easy passive hydroponic starter kit, anyone can master indoor gardening anywhere, anytime. Visit www.happyleafled.com today to get your kit. Don't forget to use the coupon code FRIEND in all caps for a 10% discount. And when you see the words you hear about us, don't forget to put Haven Homestead Podcast. And then very, very last thing I want to mention is our social media stuff. So we have YouTube at Haven Homestead on YouTube. Facebook, Haven Homestead is... Haven Homestead 2009, Instagram, The Haven Homestead, and Twitter, Haven Homestead. And those of you that have messaged us that you like the show, I really appreciate that. I really like to hear from the people that listen to it. And when you contact me, if you have any questions that you would like me to answer, I would love to answer. I like the challenge. I like having something uh, specific to research. Well, that takes care of all the bills. Now we're going to get right into the topic at hand, which is cheap or free season extenders. So season extenders typically something that 
will make your growing season longer so that you can fit the plants in that you want to grow. So some plants take longer to mature than other plants, and they'll need a longer growing season, but you only have so many days between frosts. So the last frost and the first frost, and if you need a little bit longer time or you want to have more mature plants or a more extended harvest, then you want to use these season extenders. The first season extender I'm going to talk about is something that you can get from, you know, uh, household re- refuse, refuse, detritus, or you can ask from other people if ask other people if they have some extras or you know what, um, whatever, however you want to tackle that. But it's the milk jugs. So you take a milk jug, and you can cut the bottom off, just maybe an inch up from the bottom, so you have a bell sort of shape with a handle. And you can put that right over your little young plant and the light can get through the milk jug, kind of a diffused light, but it will help keep the frost off of your tender plants. Along the same rule of uh, school of thought is using a two liter bottle, a soda bottle, and you can cut that right in the middle, the two liter bottle, or you can cut, you know, the middle four inches out or something and use the top part as a bell and the bottom part as a bell. You can also make cold frames, which cold frames are kind of like a box with a glass top. Um, Usually the back, the north wall, you want to face them towards the south if you're in the northern climate. And um, so the, the southern wall will be a little shorter and the northern wall will be a little taller so that the glass slopes towards the south, south facing. And you put something over the top, either glass or plastic, over the top of it so that the sun can come in and warm the plants and warm the soil and warm the interior of your cold frame, but frost can't get in. Now, one thing with cold frame is if you use plastic plastic or glass, uh, you'll have to water them because there's not enough, there's no water coming through. It's kind of, you know, the glass and plastic are impermeable, and so you want to be able to get water in there so you're going to have to water them and don't forget to water them because they will possibly get burned inside there get too dried out and be too harsh on them you can use painters plastic we've did that a couple years ago we had the straw bale gardens we planted our plants on there and then put take this painters plastic made kind of a teepee over it and then tucked it in the strings of the of the straw bales so you don't have to use the straw bale garden but you can use the painter's plastic in the same way. And that is make some sort of frame that the plastic can go over. So if you put two fence posts on either end of a row, run one string across between them, then put this over the top like a tent, put the plastic over the top like a tent, weight down the edges so that it stays pretty taut. That will be kind of a a tunnel sort of thing, a row cover, and they have more of these, I'm going to talk about them in here in a minute, but with this painter's plastic, is a very cheap solution. Now, it won't last very long. It tends to break down in the sunlight. So you want to try to get some painter's plastic, which I don't remember how much it was, maybe $20 for a roll, a big roll, like 200 feet or something, but it'll break down. So you want to get some every year, or maybe it'll last you possibly two seasons. I've had some that lasted really well and I've had others that fell apart really quickly. So it just kind of depends on the brand and the thickness of it, you know, how many mills it is. Painter's plastic can be a really cheap way to do row covers. Now the same thing happens with the cold frames is the water can't get through. Sunlight gets through fine and you need to kind of keep an eye on it because if it's getting too warm inside there, if you've pinched the ends shut and it's getting really warm inside, you can easily kill those tender seedlings. So be careful with your painter's plastic in making sure that you're not getting that too warm. And also water them. Another cheap way, so the painter's plastic, you know, was was pretty cheap. The used windows can be free if you have someone who's getting rid of windows to make your uh, cold frames or greenhouses out of. One I used when we lived in Idaho was a PVC greenhouse. And how I did that is I took PVC pipe, half-inch PVC pipe, and I bent it down inside of my garden. I had kind of like a raised bed 
garden sort of thing where you could walk in and it was a U shape. So you walked into the middle of it and then all of the garden beds were around you. And I put rebar into the ground or pipe of some sort that would fit inside of that half inch pipe. And then I bent the PVC in kind of like a Conestoga wagon shape. So it was like a rib of a Conestoga wagon. And I put that in into the ground on those PVC or on those uh, rebar stakes and that held it in place then I put plastic over the top and then I took zip ties and zip tied the plastic to the PVC so that it wouldn't be moving around a lot because when the wind blows and if it's shaken it'll wear itself out and put holes in it it was a pretty inexpensive greenhouse as greenhouses go and it did the trick it was nice and warm in there and and the plants did really well high hoops is kind of the same sort of thing it's a a, a greenhouse that um, is only about 24 to 36 inches tall also polytunnels row covers are along the same sort of idea is that they make a small greenhouse down the row and you can get a plastic high house sort of t- tunnel with the ribs And I don't remember what it was. It was like 10 feet long or 118 inches or something like that for around 20 to $30. That's only one row. And that's not really cheap. I mean, it is cheap when you think about it, but it's not super cheap. It's not like I, like I want to go. So what we ended up doing was we bought these plant blankets or floating row covers. Some people call them. They're six feet wide by like 50 feet long. And they were $10 a piece. I'm not sure the brand. I think it was ag choice or something like that easy to grow maybe we got six of them so it cost us sixty dollars for like 300 feet of this of this uh row cloth because when we grow the loofah we're going to need something to keep those keep them warm and not let them get uh chilled because that's bad for them another one that's going to be that would probably be pretty cheap is to turn your raised bed into a cold frame. So all you have to do is if you have a raised bed, you already have the sides and ends and everything enclosed, just go ahead and put some plastic over the top. That will let the sun go in, make a greenhouse sort of effect, which will help your soil warm up, which will help your seeds start, which will, you know, yada, 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 all that. That's a way to get a jump on the spring. Plus in that cold frame, some of those plants can start growing, like you could start growing your lettuce or your salad greens, and you can start harvesting those and keep them right inside your little greenhouse until all danger of inclement weather is past, and you can take that off and, and just let it breathe normally. But again, you're going to need to water them. Another way in the spring and also in the fall is using a plant blanket, which you can use these row covers like I mentioned, but as a blanket, which you just lay over the top of your plants. So if you have tomatoes and they think it's going to freeze a little bit. Not the cold killing frost, but just a little bit of a light frost. You can put that blanket over the top and protect it like a little baby, like a baby blanket, but for plants. Another way that I thought was kind of interesting was you can start your seeds. Say if you have a barrel or a bucket or something that you're going to start some seeds in, then put a clear umbrella over the top of it. And the umbrella, you might have to snip the handle off. This is a one-use sort of deal. And then you put this umbrella over the top, the bubble, clear, bubble-shaped type of umbrellas. And I saw those on the internet from anywhere from like $10 to $100. So it really depends on brand as to what you're going to get. But I thought that was a really ingenious idea. So then you can just take it off, fold it up, and store it for next spring or whatever. And then pop it open, stick it over your little half barrel or wherever you're starting your plants in that's round and that it will fit kind of snugly over. And Bob's your uncle, you're, you're uh, cooking with gas. The last one I want to mention is using, well, the last type I want to mention are the ones that you have a water nearby, like a water battery, so to speak, a heat battery, which is in the form of a, a water jug or or the cozy coats which are those their sections of this of this cover and you fill them with water and I, I don't know how well they work. I've seen people use them before 
but it seems like they'd break down really easy and if they got a little leak in them, a little sprung a leak, that it would just pour out. So it looks like when you get a package of Otter Pops and all the Otter Pops are stuck together and then you have to rip them off, well, these ones aren't perforated, so you can easily rip them off, but every one of the Otter Pops, so to speak, the cells, are open on the top. So you just fill those full of water and then they lean or they make a, like a structure that you put around a plant like a tomato or a pepper eggplant or something like that. You put these cozy coats, is what they're called. At least that's what Burpees calls them. And you put them around the around the plant, and the sun can go through. It can warm up the water inside. Then the water stays warm-ish throughout the night, you know, lets off some heat until the next day when the sun comes up and does it all over again. Now, those are a three-pack for $17. I don't really think that that's, like, super cheap, but, you know, for a little less than $6 each, I think that that's not uh, outrageous to ask, especially if you only have a few of those sort of sensitive plants. But I prefer to go with the ones that are a little more sustainable, like the used windows. You're taking something that people would just throw into the dump, and you're you're using it. On our website, I think it is, uh, we have a picture of, of us standing in front of a cold frame that we made. On the website, if you go into the photo gallery, and on the 2014, it shows uh, building a cold frame. That's when the kids were quite a bit smaller. It's 2018. I can't believe it's been four years already since we built that cold frame. We just moved it to a new part of the garden just earlier this year. But the cold frame was made out of recycled windows and some 2 by 4s and, and some plywood. and I mean, just really, really cheaply made partly because we didn't have any money, but also because it was something, a project that we thought would be really interesting. And it was. That's, a, I think, a really sustainable choice is to make your cold frame out of used windows. Maybe if you're going to face it to the south, if I were going to do that again, maybe I would only put windows on the front and on the back I would have a dark painted surface so that the sun can come in and warm that dark painted surface which would give our strawberries, which is what it was over, a little bit better start in the spring and a little bit longer extension in the winter. But they, they don't really go real dormant. I mean, they've they've kind of died off a little bit, but they've still got plenty of green. Granted, it's been a mild winter. But I hope that this has helped you find some ways that you can extend your season, either in the spring or in the fall, and that's given you some ideas of things you want to try. Uh, if you have any other ideas, you know, go ahead and shoot me a message through one of the social medias or our our website, but just research season extenders. You can find all kinds of good ideas on the internet. So, hope this gets you on the in the right direction and this has been the Haven Homestead podcast where we learn and grow together on our way to living more sustainable lives. Thanks for listening.